around with this thing today for a little bit and uh, I was uh, checking it out and it looks like this panel is just gonna drop right in so I'm not gonna have to cut these and uh, everything lines up because what I did is if you look here when I cut this you can see there's a bend right here and I cut this edge right on the bend and if you look here let me see if you can see that in the video. It's, you got the width of the cut, okay? And it's right there within the 16th of an inch of the, uh, of the bend. So, and if you look here, it's like you can see the width of this is actually slightly past the bend. So, it looks like it's lined up perfect right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it in place with some sheet metal screws and then uh, so I can, you know, move it around if I have to. And then uh, I'll fit this in here and let's take a look at it. All right, so this is how it fits. If you can see here, um, I can see that edge just a little bit forward of that. So if you look at my cut... You can kind of see where it's already wrapped over a little bit and then there's the width of the cut okay so if you look at that they kind of match up very closely again remember when you move this around the metal moves a little bit when you go to put this it's not a sometimes people think it's a perfect fit when this thing goes on the pan it's it's always a fight they're good they never fit perfectly on the pan real easily so there's always this metal bends a little bit and it it works around so you're gonna have a little bit of wiggle room on there so you just the trick is is having the wiggle room where you can um, and inner panels you know right here you can have a little bit of wiggle room on the outer panel where you're gonna be looking at it you can't have any wiggle room all right so the seat bar look at that not even no bolts in it or anything Lines up in the middle of there, right in the middle of here. This is my first look at it. I just dropped it down just now. So I guess I know what I'm doing. Set that in place. Um, I gotta clamp and weld all that stuff. But I'm even thinking about taking this panel out and coating everything with panel adhesive and setting it in place and then doing a little less welding to save myself some work. So a lot of guys won't do that. They'll say, oh no, panel adhesive isn't strong. It doesn't work as good. It doesn't have the, it's not original. You know, panel adhesive is awesome. It works great if it's done properly. And you're on bare metal on both surfaces. Um, and what it does is because you got bare metal on the bottom side of this and the bottom and this thing, you know, that's open to rust. But when you coat that with panel adhesive, now it's not gonna rust between those two layers. That's what these guys are using weld through primer, which I'm, I don't know, I'm not real confident in that. It's a kind of a PPG system thing. Um, you know, it's, I'm not real confident that that actually works. You know, how can you have a primer that actually you can weld through it and the heat doesn't let the metal rust? That doesn't make sense. So the other things I'm checking is because, remember, we're overlapping our putting this underneath this layer right here where did it bend where did I get my eighth of an inch or quarter uh, it might be an eighth of an inch between here and the other side but um, actually it's pushing this part out a little bit so I measure from the center of this to the center of the other side it's 40 inches I measure it on the frame and it's 40 inches so that should be fine um, this is a little bit out of line right here. I need to, it's because there's a little bit of a gap in here, right there, there's a gap. So if I pull this down, that should line up. Okay, that should line up with the other side. The other side's already lined up, look. Okay, height wise, not the, the gap. You see the gap there? That's actually gonna get backed up with some metal and then I'll put a patch piece in for this area. 
Now when this gets done, I can sand this down, grind this down, and filler, everything, and you'll never see it. It's in your fender well, and you'll never know it was ever there if I want it to. I mean, it all depends on what I feel like doing. And if you didn't feel like doing it, you didn't have to. It's up to you. But I'm just showing you guys how this can be done to not, you know, to save yourself some time. You have to really look at what, you know, the task is at hand, what's going to change when you put the piece in, and sit there and do the math in your head and figure out, make sure that you're not far enough off that's going to matter in anything. So that's how it fits. Um, looks like these pieces will go right in too. I just need to cut this portion out. You know, I'm going to have to cut the other one out. Remember, I did this right at where those teeth are. So I cut between here. And then um, the other way I could do this actually is on this portion right here. Uh, if I can get the lighting right, there's too much light over here coming in. So if you can see this edge here and this edge here, okay, what I could do is cut below, right below where this clip is, say along like a half inch below. And then what I could do is take and make slits up slightly past where the new piece is supposed to go. So right in the corner here, I'd make a slit and a slit, and then I'll slide the piece on and use the metal that's here to underlay under the metal on there. And that would give me a flush mount and still have overlapping metal that um, I could weld to and make it strong. So that's another way I could do it. I just thought of that about doing that. I might end up doing that. So I might just cut this below where I need it, okay? And cut right over here on the other side of the clips because remember the clips are all gone down at the bottom. So cut right at the other side of the clips and then lay that other piece right on top and then cut the slits here and just bend it in a little bit and then get my straight edge, check it before I weld it, and then maybe even screw it into place and then weld it into place. So that's another way to do that. There's always some ways to do it. I'm just trying to explain it to you so that, because you're, where you're going to have problems is going to be different than where I have problems. It's always different on every car. It's never rusting exactly in the same place. You never get to just replace just a heater channel you have always have some other metal that goes with that so those are just ideas to put in your head and uh, maybe watching this will help you guys uh, get through one of your problems and figure out how to solve a, a big problem and make it simple so anyway that's it for the metal fitment i'll talk to you in the next video